Back on Sports Center, taking you back to 1972, the AFC Divisional Playoff Round. The Raiders and Steelers from Pittsburgh, fourth quarter, fourth down. The Immaculate Reception, Franco Harris, right place, right time, cementing his place in the history books. And he's joining us now on Sports Center. Back with you. And when you talk about NFL dynasties, the Steelers of the 70s have to be at the top or near the top of that list. As a Raiders fan, I'm not sure where I would put you guys, but it's great to have you with us, along with acclaimed author Gary Pomerantz. The book now out in stores tomorrow, Their Life's Work, The Brotherhood of the 1970s Pittsburgh Steelers, Then and Now. And Franco, let's start with you. This book is in stores tomorrow for lifelong fans of yourself and of the Steelers. What's going to jump out to them that maybe surprise them that they didn't already know? You know what, there's so many stories in there that, that really touch about the true character of the team. A lot of background information. Uh, that would really be insightful. Uh, uh, I mean, everybody likes to feel that they know the team. You know, they watch it on television and read stories about it. But uh, Gary really gets in depth, and and I think that uh, it'll be some great reading for a lot of Steeler fans. Gary, your connection with this team goes back a long ways. Your days as a sports writer in the early 1980s. What made you want to reconnect with this team? You've gotten away from sports as a profession a little bit. What made you want to come back specifically with this team? Well, they're a great story, and the story did not end in the 1970s. You know, it's really a story about how these guys came together and, and in part, how they've stayed together. You know, it's, it's a book about what football gave them and took from them. A number of them died too young um, for all different reasons. Uh, what if you ask these guys, every one of them would say it was worth it and they'd do it again. Well, Franco, to that point, uh, there are portions of this book that talks about your daily regimen and some of the things you do to alleviate some of the health issues that you've had from a career of playing football. And certainly you're not alone certainly on your team as well, members of the mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Steelers from that era. Why was it so important to you to share that side of your personal life? Well, you know what, uh, I see the, the pain a lot of players go through and and a lot, of us, a lot of us have read the stories about a lot of the uh, brain trauma that, uh, uh, that has affected the players. And I guess I look at it as a, uh, you know, as a precaution sort of thing, saying, okay, I, I know these things are going to come. Okay, I mean, every player is going to have situations that they're going to have pain issues, they're going to have brain damage, all that kind of stuff. So what can I do now to delay it? My feeling is I can't stop it, but can I delay it? And I looked at it that through diet and lifestyle, I can delay it. And, and so when I turned 50, I uh, decided to eat blueberries every day, a pack or two of blueberries every day, and uh, the, fish oil, the fish oil out of the bottle. And when I first started, I went vegetarian for 10 months, and, and then I added chicken, added fish. Uh, but through diet and exercise and health reasons, uh, uh, I decided to approach it that way. Now, has it worked? I have no measurements, but... Uh, uh, but I have, I have no inflammation, no chronic problems, and the brain problems, I guess, could be questionable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, humility aside here, Gary, two and a half years, this process, from idea to now maybe your first draft, what was that evolution like for you? Well, it was hard. It was hard because there were so many great stories, one after another. This was one of the most, not only talented teams in history, but colorful, just characters everywhere. And so the trick for me is, you know, how to bring out the full life of the locker room, the joy that these guys uh, brought to every game. Hall of Famer Franco Harris, claimed author Gary Pomerantz, the book, once again, in stores tomorrow, their life's work, the brotherhood of the 1970s Pittsburgh Steelers, then and now. As a Raider fan, I'm going to read it, and I think that's the highest <laughs> praise I can give you guys. Thank you very much. Hey, Best of luck with the book. Thanks Gary. so much. Great battles against those guys. Absolutely. Blood wars. Yes, sir.